welcome to day five of Christmas in Leyland. I really hope you're enjoying the video so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you if you are one of the lovely people who have commented um, and sent me a message to say you're enjoying it. Um, I'm so happy, so happy that you're enjoying it. I mean, one of my favourite things in the world is to create content that you lot are really enjoying as well, but for that to be Christmas themed is like everything so i'm just getting ready for the day as you can tell with the wet hair my hair is about to be colored back to bright purple hopefully fingers crossed um and i was looking around i'm feeling very pleased with myself um about this year's christmas decorations and the theme we've gone for so i thought that i would show you lot and give you all a little layla land Christmas decoration house tour. I'm gonna do this as more of a kind of mini vlog kind of situation so don't be expecting any fancy editing. So we're gonna start um, as you would, if you can hear a noise by the way, just, just look. I have got my elf slippers on with the dingy bells obviously. So we're gonna start as if you would come into the house because a leak saw and it's one of my favorite parts of the house especially in an evening when it's um dark i mean it's fairly dark now because we live in east lancashire and it's just throwing it down for days on end but as you come into our house this is what you're greeted with we've got the gorgeous little bowl that i made there i think this bowl was about 2.99 from b m and it's just got some um battery operated fairy lights and some baubles in um they're just kind of layered in there but it's just such a cute effect so that's that and then we've got the staircase which has got colorful fairy lights wrapped around both banisters um our house is being converted for um disabled people to live in obviously we have this one for charlotte so we've got two handrails to decorate which is just ruddy marvelous so let's go up the wooden hill into a room that you should all recognize some more fairy lights wrapped around that one this is the start of my gallery wall this is something for 2019 that i am determined i'm going to finish off at the moment i've got a picture of my lovely granddad i've got two i think these were my last scan photos of uh, minnie and then there she is on her, I think she was three there, uh, on her nursery school photo. So, into a room you may recognise. Anybody recognise in here? I've not been in here for a while, have we? Um, I've currently got a piece of pink tin soul just draped over the mirror. Let me show you today's outfit. Today's outfit, should we turn the lights on for you? Today's outfit is my llama, ho ho ho, I ate all the mince pies, drama llama situation. Santa hat going on that you should have seen in the day three haul. So I've just got some pink tinsel draped lovingly on there. Look, you get a better shot of the uh, dingy slippers there. I could have done these for my elf day video on day one, couldn't I? Okay, so... Um, first thing to mention, I think, is the Rudolph bedding. This, I think, was from Primark last year. I think, and you should have, you should remember it from last year. Who's been with me that long? Um, so we've got the little Rudolph reindeer with the red noses, and then it's reversible as well. So on the other side, we've got kind of the red dots and the stars as well. Um, so that's reversible. And obviously, I just pair that with a red sheet my red cushions um they're just the perfect christmas red kind of that orangey red um and just some gray pillowcases for my underneath ones um and this is that really really warm cozy flannelette material going on okay so if you remember this situation so the photos have gone um i might do that again for spring but we never know um so i've got clipped up on the fairy lights um the baubles that are very similar to the ones i've used downstairs as well so the pinks are we going to focus there we go so just these little clips that i got from sainsbury's that were in a just this jar that was about a pound and i've got the gray marbled ones and i've got the copper ones and they're just super useful and cute so i've got sparkly pink baubles 
bit more of a textured one and then the satin finish ones and I've got some of these bigger sparklier ones dotted about as well also I've got my little woolly bobble hat that one of my gorgeous viewers knitted for me that one there is a very special one I'll go around and show you that one it's three a pink one up there four there's another little light pink one there five I'm sure there's another one maybe there's five I feel like I'm missing one though Maybe not, maybe not. Right, okay, let me go around and show you that other one because it's so cute. Hi, Lumos. Hello. You do not like these slippers, do you? It's okay. Oh, bless her. So this is a very special bobble hat from the same collection, um, but it says on it, which it focuses, 2017 and Layla Land, and that is so special to me because um, my lovely viewer, um, Jackie, sent them to me at the end of 2017, which was my first year on YouTube. So that, to, for me, is like such a nice little commemorative thing. And then here, I've got the um, rose gold, copper and gold tinsel, and I've just wound it round um, some of the light strips there. So that gives such a good effect. Look at that, it's so cute. So cute. Let me turn the light off. And then you just see how cosy it is. It's gorgeous. I leak thought. I leak thought. Right, let me show you downstairs. Right, let's go downstairs and show you there because for me this is the purest de resistance. Oh, I'm sorry, Lumos. Oh, one of our cats, Lumos, is very nervous. Um, and she's really not liking the slippers and I feel like I'm following her. She kind of goes and sits everywhere I go next, so I'm <laughs> I don't... I know, I don't know whether to take them off or just let her get used to them. I feel like she might get used to them. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So, I was just saying, Charlotte, let's go and see Charlotte, because Charlotte's home today as well. Don't sit on my I won't sit on you. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Hi. Say hello to everybody. Hello, people, Hello of people of the world. People of the world. Um, I was just saying that this room that I'm going to show everybody next is my favourite. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, this is your favourite bit. Mm. Which is your favourite? <laughs> Let's show everybody the things in here and then you can tell me what your favourite part is. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Where shall I start? Um, shall I do that last? Yeah. Yeah, shall I start with that? Yeah. Yeah? Right, go with me. You all know I'm mental by now, don't you? Oh! Cushion down, bear with, sorry. Um, right, so I have... What are you saying about my butt? The cushion attacked it. It did. Um, so I have a floor lamp from Ikea that I bought years and years and years ago and I just don't like it. I'll... Pardon? No, I bought it from Ikea. Um, so, yeah, I just don't like it. It, it, it. I like it as a floor lamp, but the lamp cover that went, the shade that went with it just didn't really go with what we were doing. Um, so I kind of had a bit of inspiration slash fit of insanity the other night and basically got rid of the whole shade. Look, can you see the uh, Santa chair covers in the background there with my giant ironing pile? Any other mums relate? Um, so yeah, so um, I basically went bananas, got rid of the whole light shade and decorated it <laughs> so we've got there a floor lamp and it's actually got three bulbs going all the way up um so i've just wrapped tinsel around it and popped a star on the top as you do so it's still giving the effect of having the light in the corner but i, I don't have an ugly shade to look at and it's christmas day charlotte drew me a gorgeous picture with Santa in his sleigh dropping off presents and you you've just managed to accidentally do it in all the colours that I decorated in. Yeah. Which was perfect. So that's on the wall as well. And also you did a Merry Christmas sign, so that's on the wall. Um I don't know if you've seen from when we decorated, but we've got um the Peter Pan flying to Neverland scene there to remind everybody that comes into our house just to not grow up quite so much and take life too seriously because that's when it gets boring and stressful basically so let's whip you past the tree because we'll show you that in a second I know you've seen a bit of the tree I know you've seen a bit of the tree but you've not seen the finished article right so our fireplace I am in love with 
So we've got the lights that used to be in my bedroom, they're above the fireplace and below that we've got a, a garland that says Merry Christmas. We've got everybody's advent calendars, we've got Moo's, Charlotte's, mine and Leonard's, we've got the stockings and all that good stuff. So let's go and have a more close look. Cushion hates you. I've just thrown the cushion off the chair again. Um, right. Thank you, Charlotte. Right, so we've got hanging baubles again. So we've got pink and gold, and we've got some Disney ones as well. So we've got some Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse heads of all different patterns and designs on there. So that's really effective. I love our little light display. What did we have on, on the lights before we put the baubles on? Was it the leaves? Yeah. We had autumn leaves on. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. so candles we all know i love a candle so i've got the caramel apple pear candle from b and m i've got the red and gold glitter ones from primark who remembers when i bought these months ago um we've got this gel one um that i've actually had for years which is just it's got like a tea light holder in the middle there and then these um like forest acorns and twigs and leaves foliage there's the word i'm looking for um, in the gel that's just around the outside so that looks really cozy and, and nice when it's all lit up another red one and then I've got the warm almonds candle another one from B&M if it ever focuses there you go and they're all just really subtle scents um the red glitter ones from Primark aren't scented but they just give such a like warming glow when they're on in an evening um so yeah we've got mini's advent calendar there which is the lint one with the um little chocolate reindeer in love it this one we got from our local pet shop which is an advent calendar specifically for dogs with dog safe chocolate in because obviously dogs are not allowed human chocolate which remember for in a minute when i tell you a hilarious story um we've got charlotte's my little pony advent calendar and in yours you don't get chocolate do you so you've got stickers and erasers and stamps and figures you've got toys in yours then i've got a lint one as well but mine is like the lint chocolate balls um this is actually my second advent calendar this year because leonard decided that um, even though we thought we'd put them safe up on the top of the fireplace, he decided he was going to jump up and eat mine. Luckily, he's absolutely fine, so don't worry, he's not ill, he's fine, he's a Labrador. We very much kept an eye on him, but he's absolutely fine. Um, one of my mum's uh, patients got this for Charlotte, so that's hanging up there as well, and it's just so cute! Who doesn't love a gingerbread man at Christmas? I don't know. Then we've got the Tatty Teddy Sleep Still Christmas sign, which we've had for years. This is the one that the girls get so excited about for Christmas. So we've got Tatty Teddy holding a Christmas pudding and um, it's got days till Christmas and it's Charlotte's job every day to change that to say how many days till Christmas. Very exciting. In addition for this year, are these gorgeous iridescent sequined stockings from the range um also we've got the hanging snow garland that's also from the range and you just see a little bit of sparkle on that as well it's gorgeous um also with the colorful lights along the fireplace i've draped those down and we've actually got these gorgeous little conical um, gold glittery tree ornament gubbinses. Um, so I've coiled what was left of the lights down there and that's in the bottom of that one. So in an evening it glows really nicely and it's super cosy. We've got the sign that I got from... I want to say the range. But it could be BNM cannot remember so there we go uh, he's making a list and checking it twice only 20 more days to prove you are nice um oh, i've got a labrador there we go hello leonard look see he does move he does move oh, i've got a labrador under the christmas tree yay Have a dog for christmas. <laughs> look at him he's just like yeah what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing let me get you oh i know I love you. Um, okay, and then we've got the other conical gold glittery Christmas tree. 
um, and this one I've actually just wrapped some fairy lights around the outside of that one so that looks really cute when all the lights are off um, we've got another iridescent fur topped stocking and then this I bought from Primark I think in the summer um, and that just lives above our fireplace all year round and looks gorgeous in an evening super cosy okay on to the good stuff are we ready I don't think they are. I don't, I'm not ready. Okay, so, on to the tree. Um, so, we have a shuffle around in at Christmas time. So, we put the tree in the corner there. Look at you, you're just such a Christmas gift, aren't you? So, I've got my marshmallow fireside candle above the speaker there. Um, again, that's from B&M. B&M have come through with the candles this year. Um, so yeah, so we've got the Christmas tree. We have a white Christmas tree and I've gone for these gorgeous, um, colourful micro fairy lights all the way up. Um, they were from B&M and I actually bought those for our fake summer festival. Does anybody remember when we did Couchella in the summer, at the end of the summer holidays? So much fun. Um, so those were actually bought for there but they look beautiful on this white Christmas tree. So. Underneath the tree we have our Christmas Eve box, which nobody is allowed to touch or look in except me until Christmas Eve. Shall we do a Christmas Eve unboxing to show everybody? Do you reckon? Should we do that? Let me know in the comments if you want us to do a Christmas Eve unboxing of what's in the box. Um, so we've got the gorgeous lights, we've got the gorgeous iridescent tinsel, and we've got those gorgeous baubles that you should have seen in the Christmas haul on day three, I believe. Go and have a look if you've not seen that one. Um, so yeah, I just love our Christmas tree. I'm obsessed with the different textures of the big baubles and the um, feather boas and the iridescent tinsel. And then on the top, we have, let's turn you round actually. We have our gorgeous pink glittery Christmas Oh, just look how beautiful she is. So there we go. There it is. Our Christmas tree. Isn't it fancy? This we have all year round anyway. This is, let's face it, we are the queens of fairy lights in this house. So we've always got our star fairy lights and the kids' awards and our little signs. And the welcome to Christmas in Leatherland side for you lovely lot so that is Christmas land here so that's us for Christmas so I really really love the um the whole theme we've got this year I really really like the iridescent colorful effect we've got going on nurse nurse what's your favorite part of the living room decor then charlotte neve the fireplace the fireplace why because it's got chocolate and toys on it because of the stockings the stockings you like the stockings mm -hmm. i think my favorite is the tree <laughs> i'm obsessed with the tree this yeah, year the stockings and the tree stockings and the tree yeah yeah obsessed that's me right my hair smells weird my hair smells weird yeah why Smells like shampoo. Yeah, it smells like weird shampoo. It smells like weird shampoo. Oh, I, well. think, I think it's the dye that I'm smelling. You can't smell dye anymore. There's none in it. There you go, Ozzy. Charlotte says your shampoo smells weird. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's us. That's the Christmas decorations house tour for you lot, especially. I hope you enjoyed it. Go and leave me a comment to let me know which your favourite bit was. Um, let me know again what uh, theme you're going for this year because I do love seeing everybody else's decorations. She does. I really do. One of my favourite things driving about is seeing everybody else's decorations and what everybody else is doing for Christmas. I look for. Especially the bay window Christmas tree. Oh, if you've got a bay window and you put your Christmas tree in it, you are automatically a saint in my eyes that's just auto um excellent behavior sticker for you yes 10 out of 10 yep my dream house will have a bay window specifically to put a christmas tree in that's like a lifelong goal for me if you could get a bay window would you put a christmas tree in like all year round yes okay. and you know me i would just see change it for seasons like you did this year yeah yeah. Um, so yeah, that's us. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it's just a little quick one and it's not kind of our usual style, but 
It's Christmas. Christmas is Christmas. Rules are all out the windows at Christmas, aren't they? Let's face yeah. it. Let's face it. Snuggle, snuggle. Right, I'm going to go and continue getting ready for the day and um, yeah, just generally get more and more excited for Christmas as the hours and the days go on, really. Mm. That's, that's kind of me now for the next two and a bit weeks. <laughs> just full excitement mode. I might go and do a bit of Christmas shopping as well, I think, this afternoon. So, yeah. obviously online, I'm not a, I'm not a mental. Not going to go outside unless I need to. No. Online shopping, you know. It's an absolute lifesaver for me, is that one? Um, so yes, I'll go and get us some lunch. Yes. <laughs> Carry on getting ready for the day. And see you again tomorrow. Have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Remember, we love you very lots. Um, don't forget to go and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Go, go and leave us a comment. Um, and yeah, just go and have a lovely day. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to everybody else. Get excited for Christmas. If you're not excited for Christmas for whatever reason, then um, please accept we hope our... We cheer you up. Yes. Um, you, well, you don't have to be excited for Christmas if you don't want to be. That's absolutely fine. Um, but I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing. Um, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye.